for the new force. Shalima Abusi was before court today and she was granted bail. But then, what is very interesting to me is these people over there, how much were they paid? <laughs> <laughs> Shali Abusi. I am the spokesperson for the new force. In the month of October, for the first phase of our campaign, we invested in a series of billboards. Within days, we provoked a substantial amount of conversation, a lot of curiosity, and generally a show of an impressively high level of civic mindedness by the people of Ghana. Tragic though, as you can see, this billboard has been vandalized. This series of very cowardly and very undemocratic acts took place last week. There have been six reported cases in the greater Accra region and also all the way in Takradi in the western region. Again, this is a criminal act. She is not a criminal! She is a good person! I will speak to the government. Give my daughter back. back. It seems like Ghanaians are asking for a new voice. If you're asking me, a new generation is coming. A new generation of leaders is standing up. The new force highlights the importance of protecting individuals, regardless of political views, nationality, race, or religion, in accordance with the international human rights laws. I don't know when the crying happened, when they shot this video and all that, but the whole thing kind of looks like some PR stunt. Whether they are, they are taking advantage of her arrest to do this or what, no. Let's just leave it for now. Miss Shalima Abusi this morning went to the Kanishi District Court and she was accused of violating Section 52 of the Immigration Act and specifically, and I quote, obtaining for yourself a student permit by false declaration. That is why she was, you know, arrested. She was at the court, her parents were there, and also the fans were there to support her. Ah, we're doing well. The troubles of this. I'm 
Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. How are you? Yeah, when you get there, you wait. The lawyer says you will be late. I will wait. I told him I will wait for you. If you want us to come to the national, yeah. we can follow you if you want us to come there, but you can't go with it. That one, yeah, so we'll go with your car. Where's your car? 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 Where's Yeah, I should sit with their parents, it's fine. You can sit with their parents, it's fine. But don't move, don't move, bring the person to court and the court admits the person to bail what happens is that the investigators are under a duty to go and inspect the properties or, or the homes of the sureties that's what you do so assuming court is closing and um, the, the, the judges do not have a place or, or the court does not have a place to keep the accused person right then an investigator could then say that well they will take her and keep her in custody until those inspections are done. But under this circumstance, that's not what is happening. The bail has been granted, the sureties are around, and the sureties have actually properly so-called brought their uh, ID cards and supply them to the register of the court. The only thing left is for the inspector, so the investigator to inspect the homes of the sureties so that the sureties will sign for her to be released. That's what is left. But what is happening now that we want to go and keep her and until whatever, I mean, very, very respectfully, that will be an abuse. It will violate her right to fair trial. It will help violate her right to freedom of movement. It will violate her right not only under the Constitution of Ghana, but under the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. I mean, the UN Convention on, uh, on Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. I mean, the, 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 how do you treat a foreigner like that on your land? Ghanaians are also, we are also foreigners elsewhere, right? And so, how we treat how we will want to be treated elsewhere is the same way we should be treat other people here. So if you have an issue, no problem. You brought the matter to court. The court has admitted the person to bail. Please, let's release her on bail. Now, there are lots of people who are not happy about a foreigner being actively involved in Ghanaian politics and being the spokesperson of somebody who intends to be um, the main competitor for the two big parties in Ghana. People are saying that why should he, he the new force spokesperson? be a white woman or to be a foreigner to come and meddle with Ghanaian politics and all that some people too are of the opinion that this whole arrest was some chapters and tactics from the current government to silence the new force whatever it is you know let me know but let me know in the comment section how much do you think these people were paid do you think these people work for the new force or they were just there they received the call that yo 
Come and wear t-shirt and hold placard and let's give you some small coins. <laughs> Aye, what the like this know? Share your views in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Share the video so that others will also get a chance to watch. And I don't know. Yeah, then. Yeah,